Put the um, I'm gonna put the timeline over here on the Cintiq so you can see it. Okay. It's gonna cover up part of our working area here, but that's all right. Can you see everything? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. All right. That'll be good. Okay. So now all I need is properties. I have to be able to see the symbol properties. Just drag that over there. We're getting there. Okay. And you want to have your uh, little cheat sheet here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that. Um, a lot of times we'll put that into the flash file that we give out as an assignment. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to, I'm going to, first I'm going to look in the library and see if it's in there. Uh, I don't see it, so I'm going to import it. Import to library. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, positions, yay! Okay, so I'm going to just, um, I'm just going to uh, drop that, insert a keyframe here by pressing F6. And so I'm just going to drop, drop that mouth uh, onto the stage on that on the on an unused layer. Um, all those mouths. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? Positions.jpg. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to start to sequence um, the. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock all the layers, and then I'm just going to unlock the layer that has. Um, um, the guy's mouth that I'm going to uh -huh. be animating, okay? Okay. And you can't... I don't think you can hear me when I scrub the soundtrack here. No, I uh, don't. But um, basically when I click on this frame with his mouth, okay, you see the symbol is highlighted there. Uh-huh. I click on this symbol and the, uh, the properties shows that it is a graphic and it is the looping options are a single frame it's set on frame one okay okay and um uh frame one is um this right here okay okay um now what he says is not what you expected. Not what you expected. So, not, not, not is one of the big, one of the consonants. You see here on, on the, uh, it'd be number, number five. It should be number five in our, our, um, mm -hmm. Right there, that's that's that one. Okay. Okay. So what I do is I click on. I, I want to start out with with uh, the the, the n number number five, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to properties. I've already got a keyframe set here. Okay. Uh huh. And I'm going to change first to five, and just see if this is set up right. That's right. So it's just teeth. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So. Now he says, you say, so it starts out in, and then it goes ah, ah, okay. So oh, it's either it's either it's either a, it's either a, a, a number one or a number four, okay. And I'm going to call it a number four. Ah, ah, oh, ah, okay. Okay. So. And I'm actually going to, let me just. Play this. I'm actually going to go ahead and set a keyframe here. F6 is to set a keyframe. Okay. F6. Okay. Okay. And you have to be on that layer, or else you'll set a keyframe. If you're just up here 
and you go F6, it'll set a keyframe. You, you want to make sure you select the right layer, you know? Yeah. Okay, so this one I'm going to go ahead and leave at 1 where it was. So I, I just scrubbed it a little more and figured out that I wanted to start out with. Um, and you have to always click on the symbol in order to select it. Okay? Okay. So this will be 1. Okay. And then I can use the left and right arrow keys, the left and right carrots, which is comma and period on the keyboard to, um, once I tab out of this, I can, I, when I'm in here, I can use the, 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 the period to go right and the comma to go left on the, on the timeline. The keyboard shortcuts can save you some time. So when he starts to go mm for not, I uh -huh. changed his mouth to uh, position five. And then I'm going to scrub it some more. I'm going to figure out where it goes. Oh, let me just. So I'm going to go ahead and go F6, set a keyframe, click on the symbol, go down here. Change this to a four. And you can just hit tab to get out of that, to go back to the symbol, you know. So you okay. don't have to always be clicking with the mouse. You can use your keyboard shortcuts, you know. Um, so that's all you're doing, see, because the mouth was already pre-positioned. The mouth symbol was already pre-positioned. Okay. And um, it includes the jaw, you know. Uh, and and you just um, you just scrub through the, the timeline and just, you know, Figure out what what phonem you need at it, at any particular point. You know, set a keyframe. Mm -hmm. Let's find the T here. Not. Right there, F six, and T is um. T is one of the one of the consonants. So that's T T. You just if you have a mirror, you can hit that. Sometimes that helps. Yeah, that's, that's also, usually what I do. <laughs> yeah, that's also that's also a five. So I click on this. Go to the properties here. Five. Whoops. Five. And tab. Whoops. Tab. And and just keep going. You know. Okay. And then you know, before you know it, he's talking. You know. So it's a real simple lip sync system for just talking heads. Now, yeah. what's bad is whoever set this up, who shall remain unnamed, these <laughs> mouths don't match up and create anything that looks like anything. The mouths are real scribbly and bad, and they're revealing mustache and cutting it off. And it just, it's really, really... Uh, very crummy. Okay. Yeah. So, so is that so something it, they would fix? Or? Well, what you do is you go ahead and lock the mouth layer. And then, you know, you unlock all, uh, unlock all layers. Unlock all layers. As a matter of fact, click on the head. And lock all layers except the head. You can hide the mouth. It's hide. Okay. And then just take... Um, now, this is not symbolized. This is... I'm going to zoom in on it. Uh, it's horrible. <laughs> um, control Shift A is unselect all. Okay, that comes control in real shift handy. A. Yeah, control Shift A. Now, one thing you can get from the forum that's going to be very helpful to you is there in resources. There's a flash um, keyboard shortcut. Uh, cheat sheet that has all the keyboard shortcuts for Flash. Now, it's going back a couple of versions. They changed one or two things on CS4 or CS5. I think it's on CS5, I think. It may have been CS4. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, M used to be Magnify, and now it's Bones. I don't know why. But now it's what? It's bones, I guess. I don't know. Oh, but anyway, okay. now, now you use Plus for Magnify. Oh, Okay. But anyway, you know, some so some of them have changed, so you might be able to find an updated one of those. But anyway, um 
you know, I just go in here and just get rid of all this. Because we're covering it up with new mouths. You know. So this, okay. this shouldn't even be here. None of this stuff should be here. So, this so way the, the do I go ahead and do that with the file I have as well? Yeah. Okay. But this should have been done before that was given to you. Yeah. And we're just doing everything in black and white for now. Um, it's really crappy that the way this was done. It's really bad. Anyway, um, now <laughs> now it won't show part of a part of a mustache that's cut off by the lip sync, whatever. You know, it'll be a little better. This is really going to need a lot of work. But the thing of it is, the lip sync sequencing that you do will still work for us. You see, everybody mm -hmm. that you know, everybody that's working with these crummy symbols, um, we we can just update the symbols, and your sequencing will be, you know, will still be valid. Okay. Mm 